All right, so check this out, you guys. I got a couple presents for my birthday. Two of them I gave to myself without the intention of actually giving them to myself. I don't know if that makes sense, but I ended up getting myself a Bluetooth speaker and the camera that I'm already started recording with it. I already got a camera to record. So right now, the previous footage or a lot of the stuff I had is with my cell phone and I'm still gonna be using my cell phone for some things, but I have like a small pocket camera that I'll be using for recording most of my stuff just because it's more practical than having my phone but um yeah so i'm gonna show you guys right now what i what kind of gifts i got for my birthday hope you guys enjoy it. i ended up buying this bluetooth speaker at walmart the soundcore so like pro so this speaker bluetooth speaker goes for like 110 dollars and I'll, I'll try to find a, a picture to post right up here and um I ended up buying this Bluetooth speaker for like $69.99 plus tax and all, but honestly, it's a good, good, super good deal. So that's what the Bluetooth speaker looks like. Turn it on real quick. It's got lights and everything. So yeah, it's got uh, lights and it works and it sounds really good. It's got those two speakers right there. It's got this little subwoofer right there and overall it's a really really good bluetooth speaker i've had other bluetooth speakers like jbl and i even had a sony that i ended up returning to the store because it wasn't that good and this bluetooth speaker so far it's been blowing everything out the water uh, it blows out the the jbl charge 3 the charge 5 I'm pretty sure it'll blow out the Extreme 3. If the, In my opinion, the, the Charge 5 is way better than the Extreme 3. And then this one here is better than the Charge 5. So I'm pretty sure this one will destroy the, the Extreme 3 for sure, without a doubt. And this Bluetooth speaker here, it's their... I think it's their cheapest lineup, really. It's the... This is the one that competes, I guess, with like the flips and the charge series for JBL. And I'll be posting some pictures up there. And um, this one has a bigger brother, which has some, I think it's like an added two, they added two tweeters to it, which is honestly the only thing this speaker would really need or that I would complain about. But other than that, as it stands, it's a really, really, really good speaker. Okay, so I also ended up buying this thing right here. Let's see if you can even tell. This is what I've been recording most of my videos on. So if you've been following uh, all my channels, I've been rec I recorded the the Picanha video that I recently uploaded with this one. Okay, so pretty much this is the DJI Pocket 2, and I got the Creator Combo. The only difference is the Creator Combo comes with the tripod, this all-in-one receiver. This pretty much makes it to where you can use. This is a wireless microphone and that microphone connects to this thing here you can charge it the camera through here it has a little speaker to where you can watch your videos and just and this is like the little speaker so you can hear the audio from your uh from your videos but uh enough with that uh let me show you let me show you this camera real quick so this is the little tripod here and it comes with this case and you just hook it up there so this is the wireless microphone that i was talking about it's got the little windscreen so if we take that off that's the microphone and then here you can hook up like an external mic so if you got like a lavalier a shotgun mic anything like that you can hook it up here and then this turns into a wireless uh, transmitter so this is the camera itself in there you're gonna see USB type C and then the lightning adapter that goes onto this camera that's the wide-angle lens so down there's the wide angle lens. This is the camera itself, so I'm gonna turn it on. And there you go. Hey screen, hey screen. Pretty much, you can do this with it, kind of control it, do what you gotta do. You can take pictures with it, flip it around. So yeah, it's a pretty good camera. It's got the little gimbal here. So the stabilization, so 
yeah so right there pretty much it's got that gimbal and this is like super helpful so it's a really 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 small camera once you're done with it put it back in here in your case like I said this tripod here it goes it pretty much goes down there and you hook it up but enough of all that this is just what I got myself for my birthday pretty expensive gifts but hopefully this is gonna help out with the channel and producing more and better content and easier for me anyways because I'm a one-man crew uh, rec I record my own things upload edit and do all that by myself so hopefully that helps me out so my friend got me these right and these are some Dragon Ball characters So what you trying to say, my boy? I'm trying to say, yeah, he got me all these. It's pretty cool, bro. Thank you, thank you. So my birthday just passed, and my friend ended up getting me all these characters. That's Frieza. That was a bunch of them. Look, a bunch of these guys. What you trying to say? I'm Otaku. Otaku, Taku, my boy. What you trying to say? You trying to say I'm Otaku? Otaku. Come on, chill out. Chill out, bro. Come on now. We're not that Otaku. 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 Come on, bro. I'm not that Otaku. I mean, seriously. Look at that. Nope. Not that Otaku, bro. Not that Otaku. Well, mate, what gave you that idea, bro? Otaku. And last but not least, this gift is from a really good friend of mine. You know who you are. You should be watching this video. And this gift here is something really different. I will say that it's something I wasn't expecting at all. But I do appreciate this gift a lot. And here it is. Let's get this out of the way. There it is. Pokin Atom Pokin Oh, it's Pokinatomy. There we go. Pokinatomy, an unofficial guide. So check it out. This book here is pretty much, as you'll be seeing, Pokinatomy, an unofficial guide to the science of Pokemon. So this here pretty much shows like the anatomy of all 152 Pokemon I believe from the original series so it pretty much talks about like Pokemon eggs it talks about every single Pokemon what they look like it pretty much explains how Pokemon and all that would look in real life if it actually existed so they pretty much found like a scientific term to all of this and it pretty much explains everything scientifically like how they're what they're made of what they're comprised of like the cells all to a cellular matter it tells you size height vine length abilities or speed it tells you everything about all 151 pokemon and how they're i guess whoever had the ideology for this is pretty clever but i'm telling you like this is just one of those books that's like super super interesting and it's something that I don't even think I knew that I wanted but it's just so cool to look at all the pictures and read about all these Pokemon again it's only the 152 I believe 152 Pokemon total so it's not gen 2 3 4 5 all those up to 9 or whatever we're on I can't remember off the top of my head but yeah, it even includes Togepi. It includes Mew. Mewtwo. Yeah, it even includes Togepi. So, shout out to my friend. Again, you know who you are. And, uh, yeah, like, this gift is freaking awesome. Not to say the other ones aren't cool either. Like, but just this, this, this thing itself is just cool. He said he was looking online. He saw that and he was like, I think this is something he would like because I like it. So shout out to you. I appreciate you. And yeah.
Okay, so yeah, that was or those were my gifts, my birthday cake uh, for my birthday. I just spent it here at home with my family, so nothing really too exciting happened aside from the gifts themselves. But uh, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. I'm gonna be trying to upload more vlogs if I can, if they're interesting enough. I'll try to do more vlogs on the Aussie in the Process channel. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any suggestions of what you'd maybe want to see me upload on that channel, let me know down in the comments. So if you guys aren't following already, please go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe to my Cooking in the Process and Gaming in the Process if you guys like the gaming and the um, and the cooking. I'm trying to upload constantly. If I can, at least once a week on the cooking in the process. It's harder to do the cooking videos, but I'll try to be consistent on there. For the gaming in the process, I will try to be the most consistent on that one because it's much easier to play a game, record it, edit it, and then upload it. And I'll try my best to kind of be more consistent on that channel. I don't know if you guys like what I post on there, but I mean, it's stuff that I like. So hopefully, eventually... You guys might like it too or you at least give it a like or something i don't know okay and with that we're done we're out of here i'll see you guys in the next video later